What's up guys, Patrick here. In this video, we're told that a cylinder has a radius of 3x plus 2 and a height of 2x minus 3. We got to find expressions for the volume and the surface area of the cylinder. So we have this cylinder here, and we're told that the radius of the cylinder is uh, 3x plus 2, and we're told that the height of the cylinder is uh, 2x minus 3. So we got to find expressions for the volume and surface area. Now what's the volume of a cylinder? Well we know that it's pi r squared times the height. And then the surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared, right? So the two circles, the areas of the two circles, plus the area of the side, which is 2 pi r h. So basically what we have to do is we have to take the radius of 3x plus 2 and the height of 2x minus 3 and just sub it in for r and h for both of these expressions, then simplify. So starting off with the volume, we would have pi. The radius is 3x plus 2, and that is squared times 2x minus 3. So if we... Um, 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2, you would have to foil out those two brackets. You would end up with 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. And then we still have this bracket remaining 2x minus 3. So then what we can do is we could foil out these two brackets. So taking the 2x, multiplying it by everything, we would end up with 18x cubed plus 24x squared plus 8x. And this minus 3 would be minus 27x squared minus 3 times 12x is minus 36x minus 12. And then what I would do is I would simplify this bracket here before distributing the pi inside the bracket. So this would be 18x cubed then this 24x squared minus 27x squared, that would give us minus 3x squared. Then we'd have 8x minus 36x would give us uh, minus 28x. And then we just have the minus 12 at the end. And then we can distribute the pi inside the bracket. So we'd have 18 pi x cubed minus 3 pi x squared minus 28 pi x minus 12 pi. So that there is the simplified expression for the volume of the cylinder. Now moving on to the surface area of the cylinder, we got 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So again, we're just going to sub in 3x plus 2 for the radius. 2x minus 3 for the height. So here we would have 2 pi uh, 3x plus 2 squared. And then we'd have 2 pi um, 3x plus 2 times the height of 2x minus 3. So Expanding everything, um, here we would have 9x squared plus uh, 12x plus 4. So the exact same thing that we got here, 3x plus 2 squared, 3x plus 2 squared. And then this 2 pi here would go in front of this bracket, and this would be 6x squared minus 9x plus 4x, so that would be... Um, minus 5x, minus 6. I think that works right there. Yeah, it does. So now, at this point, what we can do is we can distribute the 2 pi inside each bracket. So here we would have 18 pi x squared 
plus uh, 24 pi x plus 8 pi plus 12 pi x squared minus 10 pi x minus 12 pi. Then we could just collect like terms. So 18 pi x squared plus 12 pi x squared, that would give us 30 pi x squared. 24 pi x minus 10 pi x would give us 14 pi x. And then 8 pi minus 12 pi would give us uh, minus 4 pi. So that there is the simplified expression for the surface area.